everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. We're gonna start with an Isaac run. And I'm gonna appeal to you at the start here. And just say, have mercy. <laughs> it's been, uh, five or six days since I played Isaac. I know I've been saying that a lot over the past few months, but, you know, it's, it's that time of the year. It's convention season. I was away at GDC for a while. I was away at PAX before those. I... This is an interesting proposition. I think I'll just take Loki's Horns. Loki's Horns is one of those items, not to get distracted from my earlier tangent, but uh, that I'm really excited to see the synergy with how it works in Rebirth, because uh, Edmund's been teasing out some gifts lately, some gifs lately, whatever you want to say, choosy moms, choose them, and it sticks to the roof of your mouth. That maybe came across a little incorrectly, but in any case, um, and uh, it looks like the synergy works perfectly fine. Like if you pick up Mom's knife plus Loki's horns, I imagine that like once every few shots, you would actually shoot four knives out of the side of your body. That seems pretty badass if you ask me. But anyway, yeah, you know, it, it's it's that time of the year uh, when when things happen, conventions happen, uh, traveling for holidays and stuff like that. But I should be good until basically August uh, to to just sit down and play Isaac and and become the champion of the community that I've always wanted to be, but never had the skill, intelligence, dedication, looks, charm, work ethic, or uh, desire to. But in any case, uh, it, it's been a bit of a rough floor for me to start with here, and I don't think a, all of it was actually uh, just Rust. Uh, Rust Cole from uh, True Detective. Uh, he, he came to my house and gave me this weird philosophical lecture, and I was like, go away, man, you're drunk. If you haven't seen True Detective, go watch it unless you're under the age of 18, in which case, I guess, like, keep your innocence a little bit longer, I suppose, because of the ESRB or whatever the TV rating station thing is. Anyway, long story short, I'll be around for a while. But, um, yeah, the, the damage that I took from that bomb was not necessarily the greatest damage of all time, but I wanted to check out the curse room anyway. It ended up being a stupid idea. But it's not like we're costing ourselves to deal with the devil on this floor. It's not like I'm very likely to die, even though I did just take a little bit more damage there. And we will reroll the shit out of that and pick up an HP upgrade. So it's all good. It's all all's well that ends well. And uh, we we ended all right there. Now there is another curse room, and I would like to visit it. The more curse rooms you go to, the greater your chance of uh, actually picking up an item. And the more things you go to, or the more curse rooms you go to, the greater your chances of taking damage. But the items are way more valuable than uh, the lost health, if that makes sense. I know that we have a little bit more money. It might be more prudent to go to the shop, but. What we will do is maybe go to like one more room and see if uh, we find the boss in the room or if we find the shop or something because we don't have a reroll charge anyway at this point. But anyway, uh, if you haven't been checking out uh, Edmund's Tumblr, by the way, I, I don't know the link offhand. It might just be edmundmillen.tumblr.com. Uh, I would suggest you do that. Let's see what this is. Ah, eh, whatever. Bad gas. I would suggest you do that because um, the, the stuff that he's been teasing out is actually awesome. Uh, the game looks fantastic. I know there are going to be people who still are not fans of the art style, and that's fine, it, you know. You get used to one thing, and then they change it, and you're like, well, but, 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 but the stuff that they're adding, even if you don't like the art style, and the way that the engine actually works together with itself now, and, like, items that should synergize logically do, um, it, it looks magnificent because of all the weird stuff that happens. Uh, and, and I think that, uh, it, it's really like, when, it, when I first heard about Rebirth, and you know, even for the past year or so, when I've known about Rebirth for a long time, uh, we will definitely take Quad Shot here. Quad Shot plus Loki's horns, as of right now, I don't think work together, but that would be really cool in Rebirth, right? That's what I find myself doing, is like, you know, it's not just a reskinned Isaac, it's, it's a labor of love, it's, not, even if it was just a reskinned Isaac, as long as it wasn't in Flash, I would still be all for it, but, we'll check for our secret room here, and get the bomb, and maybe get some money out of this poop as well. Got lucky. It was probably on the the other side, if I had to guess. But um, yeah, like they're they're doing some really good stuff with with Rebirth that I'm very excited about. I don't know anything more about it than you do, so you can stop asking me. Um, but all the new items they've teased have been really interesting. Uh, this floor is great because we're gonna get exactly the amount of uh, rooms necessary to fight enemies to get reroll charges, and we'll see uh, if we can use one on a deal with the devil. If we get one, or if, oh, that was just made one wrong turn there. Um, or if we uh, instead maybe have to go to something else, but or if we have to use it on the shop instead, maybe if we get a little bit more money, if we get like Pageant Boy here, or we could use it on the boss room if we get Pageant Boy, but no deal with the devil. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We don't have the money right now to buy anything from the shop in all likelihood, and I'd rather not spend a key on this floor if we only have 11 cents and two keys if we had uh, meats. Amazing, obviously. I guess we'll just go to the secret room, or we'll try to go to the secret room. And uh, the easiest way to find where that secret room is is probably just to walk into this curse room. So that you know really kills two birds with one stone. 
Well, now we know that the secret room is not adjacent to the curse room, so that creates a whole different can of worms. And I think I'm just going to leave this floor now. Uh, I'm still pleased with what we got. Quad shot plus uh, damage plus HP upgrade is great. Our health is poor, but on the next floor we should be able to go to a shop. We'll definitely be able to go to an item room, and everything's coming at Millhouse as of right now. Despite the fact that I've taken some really dumb damage, this has been a very leisurely uh, comeback run, which I'm excited about. It doesn't feel like a comeback run if you've been watching every episode, because, you know, I, what are you talking about? This is the first time you played Isaac in six days. You played it yesterday on the channel. Well, yes, that's true. Due to the miracle of YouTube scheduled publishing, uh, that was like time travel, basically. I worry about scheduled publishing sometimes. We're just going to pick up Spider Button and reroll the crap out of it, obviously. Uh, after I use it on the D6 for good luck to get Lemon Mishap. Um, but yeah, I worry about scheduled publishing because, you know, if you're like, um, let's say you're a pilot or something like that, and I don't mean to make anybody afraid of flying with this analogy, so if you're like deathly afraid of flying, I apologize. But if you're a pilot or something, and you're going down in a plane crash, you have a chance to choose your last words, right? You're, you're talking into the, the VFR, the, the black box, and you're saying, like, well, you know, God bless and it's been fun or something like that. I don't know. Um, but you you can choose your words carefully, and th that's important, right? Because that's people are going to read that, and they'll be like, oh, that's what I remember Captain Dick Hammer for. Uh, but if you, if you do this stuff, and I'm not saying my job is as important, uh, you know, for getting people from place to place, uh, but uh, if you do my job, you could re my last words could be the next words that come out of my mouth. They could be uh, in ten videos from now. It could be in ten thousand videos from now. It could be in a hundred thousand videos from now, given the rate at which they come out. But anyway, so that means that technically, like, I could die, and then, like, seven days later, due to scheduled publishing, my videos would still be coming out. So you'd be like, oh, and, or, like Ryan died. That's really sad. And then you like, I'd upload a video, and you'd be like, oh, this is cool that I can like get in touch with him and. It's like he's talking to me from beyond the grave, but then I'll be like, Snagglepuss fart fucker, and you'll be like, oh, well, that's not really as cool, right? It loses a little bit of the, the nobility involved, I would say. I, I fucking swear to God, if my last words end up being Snagglepuss fart fucker, I am going to be really, really disappointed with myself when I'm in the whatever afterlife may or may not exist. But even if I get reincarnated as, as a cricket, I'm going to be like, Okay, I'm, I'll never be able to shake the shame on my soul that Snagglepuss fart fucker would entail. But in any case, this floor has not been very good so far. The secret room here could change it. It had the chance, but chose not to. I mean, there's a lot of seams on this floor, you have to imagine. There's the item room, which still has not given me anything worthwhile. There's the blood bank, which could very easily give me something worthwhile if we get a chance to play it. There may still be a curse room. Uh, and... I'm gonna get... Oh, I got out just at the last second there. Um, there's a boss room here. There's a chance to go to the shop, obviously. Could get a deal with the devil from this boss room. Could just get a good item. It's it, plenty of keys. Golden chest could show up. There's a lot of, of ways that this could go. Uh, both positively and negatively. The most negative would be if we just didn't get a chance to, to re-roll that item room a couple more times, uh, if necessary. I can't believe that I still got hit by that. The perspective on shots sometimes still fucks with me to this very day. Like, specifically today. Other days, it can be fine. Maybe it's just that my glasses aren't on straight. Seems like a harder Gertie fight than usual. Maybe it's just been a while since I played Isaac. I think it's because he's summoning so many of these damn flies, and I can't hit them because I'm hitting Gertie instead. And then when I do my semicircular dodges here, it puts me in a pretty terrible position. He's summoning these red nut. Basically, what I'm doing right now is just describing the Gertie fight, and you're like, yeah, I know, I've seen it 200 times. Fair enough. You don't have to be an ass about it. I'm sorry that I wasted your time. Oh, I don't think we earned a deal with the devil, but we might have. We didn't. We get squeezy. I like squeezy enough. Many factors go into deciding uh, whether or not there's a reroll on an item like that. Squeezy's not the best item in the game, but as a tiers upgrade, plus the spirit hearts, I think it's useful. Um, and here's what I'm gonna do. One of the considerations, by the way, was, oh, is Wiggle Worm in one of the rooms? Oh, then I'd rather save my reroll for that. So, what we are gonna do, though, is um, play the Blood Bank a few times, especially now that we have the spirit hearts to protect us. Take us to 15 cents, go to the shop, see what they got for sale in there. That also gave a pretty good chance to get the uh, uh, IV bag or the blood bag, both of which would be Useful blood bag, obviously more so, but IV bag in case I needed a little bit more money or needed to get into a boss trap room that may or may not exist, etc., etc. So that's awesome. We got the compass. It's well worth it, I think, to buy the uh, red heart in this situation because we're gonna go back and gamble the shit out of that uh, fortune, uh, not fortune teller, blood bank. 
And uh, three cents, we could easily make three cents, but in all likelihood we'll make two. But we could also make, you know, one cent and an HP plus speed upgrade, which would be wonderful as well. But you probably don't even need to tell you that by this point in, in, uh, in our arrangement here. And you know what, I'll play this until we get back to 15 cents, if that's feasible, which seems like it will be. Uh, and then we'll talk about how we're going to sort the rest of this out. Because, ah, uh, there we go. So, of course, on the last one, we got, like, six extra cents, but... Uh, sure, I will take it. Technology gives us laser tears. We have a huge technology shot because of, uh, quad shot. I have no idea how this interacts with some of the other items. Weirdly enough, it, it shoots part of the technology behind us. I don't know, man. We're about to find out. I like technology plus other things, so I'm excited about this. It also appears... Oh, no, it does have unlimited range still. I don't know why I thought it didn't for a second there. Now, how much damage are we doing? I'm going to guess that the answer to that question is probably not as much as I would like. And because we have a bigger technology shot, it's so obvious that technology only hits over, like, a certain range. Um, but that's, that's okay, too. Uh, like, not the entire... Uh, laser of technology actually appears to do damage. But it does give us like kind of a cheaper brimstone. I like it, to be honest with you. Could look for the secret room. I think it's a smart idea. We won't be able to use a reroll, but more money is always good. And we are going to gamble the rest of our health away on this blood bank, except for our spirit hearts, which are critical to our success if we're going to gamble the rest of our health away on this blood bank. Now, I'm going to guess that the secret room is probably right down here. Raw liver would be ideal. Ability to fly would be... Alright, you know what? Never looking for a secret room again. You had your chance, game. You fucked it up. Now, come on. You know you want to. That's fine. I'll be okay with that. But, man, my kingdom for a bloody penny trinket or something like that. It's still been a great run so far. Anytime you can get... The oh, you know what? Loki's tears now all of a sudden, or Loki's horns, I should say, now all of a sudden are working in conjunction with us, which is kind of weird, but that's wonderful for me as well. Let's move along, and uh, down to the next floor. We've gotten some very good offensive items, and, you know, defensively, we're in an okay position as well as a result of the HP upgrades that we've gotten so far, including Squeezy. I would include Squeezy in that category, even though it's not a traditional HP upgrade. We also have the Compass. Compass is one of the best items in the game, in my opinion, and also one of the most common, which is uh, a nice intersection. Let's see what we've got in our item room. It's Mom's Pad. Definitely not worth giving up the D6 for, unless we're on the chest and we are basically done with the D6. We also got the shears, which, as you might expect, not too stoked about. Is it possible the technology is actually doing less damage as a result of uh, quad shot? I mean, these are hypothetical questions I'm asking myself, but also real questions I'm asking the audience. Uh, I, I believe that it might be possible. I believe quad shot lowers your individual uh, shot damage, so I don't see a reason why, you know, in the Isaac of logic, which is a difficult sentence to say when Isaac is usually the second word that comes in, like, the blank of Isaac, um, but in the, in the logic of Isaac, I think uh, that is something that I could completely foresee actually being a realistic kind of consequence. But anyway, let's come down here and we'll hit you like that and maybe pop up again. There we go. Shop could have greed. Doesn't really bother me because we have unlimited range, which would give us a great chance to dodge. So, interesting situation. We really do not want to... I'm going to buy this because we're going to use that as insurance when we play the blood bank. Um, we really do not want to get bum friend, but bum friend is probably technically better than the shears. So we're gonna... Is it the shears that are still in there? I think it is. So we're gonna reroll the shears instead. Uh, but we'll, we'll definitely want to reroll bum friend if it's at all possible. Which it probably is debatable whether or not it will be. And what do we need at this point? More damage upgrades would be beautiful. We're doing... We're two hitting pretty much everything except flies. Um, I'm just trying to like brim snap here. Doesn't really work though. Because you don't really charge it up, but it's still, you know, whatever. You don't need to, though, my whole life story here. Because you didn't ask for it. So we'll reroll shears quickly. Uh, do we play the blood bank first? I don't think so. I think we'll just do some more exploration first. Uh, yeah, sure. Skinny Odd Mushroom lowers our damage, but lets us fire a little bit more often, which is good. I think it also made our shots thinner. Which, in a weird way, might help me aim. I don't know if, I, if this whole hypothesis about the, the hitbox being thinner than the actual wave itself is uh, correct, but whatever. So that's good, and uh, yeah, I just like skinning on Mushroom in general. We'll also go check out our shop now, and uh, I'm trying to think of like where I would want to use this reroll first, and the actual answer is probably on boss room, de deal with the devil room, so we'll see if that's a possibility. Magician is worthless, but we'll come down here quickly, and you know what? Unless we fight the worst boss of all time, I think we have a very decent chance to do this first. And we may end up doing some gambling here. Four cents for one heart is a pretty good deal, but uh, we're going to need 
a little bit more than that to uh, to make some good stuff happen. So let's go fight our boss. See if we need to use a reroll. Even at this, oh, you know what? Little Chad is something I'm not gonna bitch about. Oh, that was actually scary. I got myself trapped behind a rock. Uh, Little Chad is not something I'm gonna be picky about because we need those red hearts to gamble more. And uh, I've been doing a pretty piss poor job of keeping my red hearts high. Keep in mind we did find that random blood bank on the last floor, which is that makes a part of the reason. But still, um, if we can get some more on this floor, that might be really good. And we do have a deal with the devil, and since we don't have many red hearts in our containers right now, I wouldn't mind picking up something else. Truth be told, we could probably make a pretty decent go with things uh, just by taking this and and honestly going for it. Is this good? I mean, this isn't going to be enough. But we have D6, we'll reroll Guppy's paw, we get... I, I think that was the right way to do things. In case you are confused about what happened, picked up Guppy's tail. Because I knew I was going to pick up Guppy's paw, so we might as well trade the extra heart, get a chance to become Guppy. Um, then I uh, used Guppy's paw, picked it up and used it, and that's going to give us a better chance to become Guppy, and also give us the uh, the spirit heart advantage that we've got going on now, which is fantastic. We also have spectral tears now, as well as the um, ability to fly as a result of re-rolling the Guppy item, Guppy's paw, into something else. So is that the right way to do things? I don't know. We don't have very many spirit hearts now, but we are kind of offensively extremely powerful. Can't gamble on blood banks, but you know, the way those have been going for us, maybe that's a blessing instead of a curse, and little Chad is effectively worthless as a result of that. I didn't really think about that, but that's not really something I can concern myself with too much. So really now, uh, sure, Judas Tongue, whatever, we'll take it, but I don't think we're gonna get another reroll anyway, so I figured we'd just go through this room, but, um, and then reroll Bump Friend. But yeah, I, I think this is, um, it's gonna make things more interesting for sure, and we're definitely still going to go to curse rooms, and we're, we're going to try to get the ability to become Guppy, because then our laser would be an incredible item combination for us that would give us a very good chance. Obviously, having stuff like the Polaroid is going to help us out a great deal as well. Compass, maybe we can get the map here or something. It's going to be interesting anyway. Not uh, not your traditional run here. And I figured, you know, go broke or go, go home. The other thing we could have done is just re-rolled both Guppy's tail and Guppy's paw. That's probably like the second best option in my opinion. I think I'm just gonna leave with the Steam sale, and normally I wouldn't buy it, but because we'd already used our last reroll, I was like, why not, I guess? We're gonna be able to buy items in the next two uh, shops. If they have them, inevitably one of them will have a mini boss. This probably doesn't make any fiscal sense, but at least now it won't show up when I beat Greed. Which might be a bad thing, because if it showed up, I could reroll it to another shop item. Look, there's all sorts of permutations and Isaac rattling around in my brain right now. I'm doing my best. Isn't that enough? <laughs> it's, it's all just, it's just math and gibberish, man. So we know that this shop is actually going to be uh, filled with an item. Maybe not a good one, but an item nonetheless, because um, there is a mini boss in a different level. So that's typically good news, because that mini boss could be something that would be amazing for us as well. Important for me to remember, don't accidentally uh, pick up HP. There may be situations where picking up HP makes sense. If there's a deal with the devil, it might be an interesting gamble. But uh, for the most part, I'm going to want to be pretty clean with respect to uh, relying solely on spirit hearts. I actually found a secret room for once. Hard, find that hard to believe, but that's okay. And really, of course, obviously taking damage at this point is is the thing we want to do least. It's usually the thing you want to do least. Oh, you know what? That's it's just going to be greed in here. Which is fine, because I, I, I'll take the money, and you know, greed becomes a much easier fight when you have infinite range. Because the shots, really, the reason they hit you is because they catch you by surprise. So we'll just take free money here. And that's cool. Thank you, little Chad, for your help. And thank you, little Chad, for your health. Not to Steve Brule, you guys. So we're in the depths part one. Uh, I guess we're just going to make our way down to the shop first, because that seems to be the closest room um, with interest that I'm interested in, at least. How does this run look from a winning perspective? I, I mean, it might look like we're a little bit suspect right now, but honestly, I feel like it's pretty good. I don't. That's not me saying we're going to beat the chest. That's more me saying, like, we could beat the chest. We need, we need more than, uh, we need more information basically to know, uh, like, is there going to be a floor where I take three spirit hearts of damage fighting little massive infamy? If so, that'll be a problem for me. That'll, that'll change my outlook on life. Like, on real life, but also on my life in Isaac, for sure. That's what I should call my memoirs, my life in Isaac. Uh, I don't really want to open that. I thought, of, ooh, my, my Lanta, that is a lot of money there. Alright, so any spirit heart that we can get is awesome. Uh, Book of Revelations will guarantee we get an orbital here, which I actually kind of am fond of. Also gives us the spirit heart and we'll reroll it anyway. Notched axe is terrible, of course. 
Um, but now we get a free shop item. I already paid seven cents for a spirit heart and guaranteed orbital. Uh, what do you got for me in here? Some more bombs and money, which is definitely not what I'm going to end up calling my uh, my memoirs. Bombs and money, Unle unless my life takes a very drastic left turn somewhere in the next, you know, 30, 40, 50 years. I don't know how long that I'm going to live for. What's What are the odds for a man who um, spends 22 hours a day in a computer chair, basically? Probably pretty good. You probably live like 269. Now, uh, Zambies are the easiest enemies for us to fight at this point. Massive Infamy should follow fairly similar logic, but we'll see. I've, I've been wrong before. If there's more keys, I will buy one in here. There's not, obviously, no reason. Well, that was an accident, but a happy one, because we got a key out of it. Uh, but I'm not going to open that one either. I do want to go to the curse room, and going to the curse room is important because it does give me the chance to get that last guppy item. If it's nine lives, it actually doesn't affect us, I think, except giving us nine lives. It doesn't negatively affect us by taking our... Uh, Taking our existing health away. If I'm wrong about that, we'll, we'll find out pretty quickly. Um, but, you know, Guppy's head would be cool too. What, Guppy's head would be a pick up and then reroll an item. Whereas nine lives, we wouldn't be able to do that. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have just teleported to a deal with the devil. Uh, Brimstone and the nail would obviously be interesting. We can't take either of these. I don't know what I'm, why I even reroll them, but. In fact, yes, why even reroll them, you big dummy? You had a reroll you could have used on the shop right there. Oh well, uh. Yeah, I, for a second I just didn't internalize that I'm rolling entirely on spirit hearts, and that was silly of me. So we got the lover's card. That's about as useful as the magician, let's put it that way. And we'll get another reroll, head back to the shop, reroll the shit out of notched axe, probably get another reroll in time for the item room slash boss room area. Definitely don't want to reroll the devil room, because we now know that that can't help us out at all. But that's okay. It's really hard to hit these bomb flies. It's like surprisingly difficult to actually take them out. More keys? Nah, more red hearts. That's slightly less useful, as in not useful at all for us. The other cool thing I wanted to mention that Edmund uh, has been teasing out on uh, his Tumblr about Rebirth, he does like one mega post a week, is the idea that there's going to be different kinds of champions. So instead of there just being like, you know, different colored champions and some of them maybe have... Di Why would I do that to myself? I, I thought I was going to that room instead of the shop, I guess. Um... And some of them have different shots, like the the weird white palette swap one shoots, like palette swap version of Gish shoots six shots instead of four, um, or shoots in a semicircle instead of just in a like X pattern. Uh, there's ones that like do weird things like going invisible or stuff like that, or you know maybe effects that we don't even know about yet. Which is really uh, it's an it's a neat way of doing things, and I'm I'm interested to see how that works out. So we have an interesting you know proposition here, obviously with blue candle. Blue candle is an amazing item. It's a really really great item, but I think I'm having more fun with the D6. And when I have like something like technology or brimstone or mom's knife, I tend to dilute my focus on that item when I take uh, blue candle because I, I don't use by taking both uh, powerful items, I don't use either of them to their full potential, which still usually leads to a win, to be honest with you. But um, it's it's also nice to to not have to worry about that, I guess, so much. Obviously, that's a waste. Uh, we're gonna be fighting war. Should be at least. Uh, actually, it's conquest, which is so shitty because I really have no need for uh, for the white pony. Which is, you know, if you're riding the white pony out there, nobody has need for it, man. Get your life in order. White pony, probably slang for cocaine somewhere in the world. Anyway, um, so basically, this floor has provided us with nothing of value. We got one spirit heart for seven cents from the shop. One spirit heart in a tinted rock. Lots of money. Uh, and then we're gonna get White Pony, Hourglass, and uh, Blue Candle. Blue Candle's pretty good, but we don't want it. So our damage, as you can tell, could get better. Could be better, I guess I should say. We're not gonna get another reroll either. Um, I've already been to the secret room. We know that it contains a mini boss. And this fight is taking fucking forever. I don't know what is wrong with the damage that I'm dealing. Luckily, I mean, Conquest typically has a, a history of doing a decent amount of damage to me, so I'm thrilled to be in a position where he's not. That's very nice, but uh, by the same token, I would still love to be able to maybe finish this fight a little faster than I am. But as long as I finish it without taking any more damage, that's cool too. Alright, so we did open up the deal with the devil again. It also gave us cube meat instead of white pony, so disregard that, I guess. That's cool. Let's head down to the next floor, shall we? With only one key remaining. Not thrilled, but we'll do what we can. First things first, we're going to go to the item room and inside of the item room mini mush speed plus range this early I think it's better for us to reroll it 
we already have skinny odd mushroom, which is kind of just like a, a better version of mini mush, even though that makes no sense because they have different abilities. I always get them confused, so weirdly enough, it makes sense in my brain. Let's come down here and uh, re-roll that into Harlequin Baby, which is again fine, but maybe not as good as I would like to have in order to not have to compromise right now. And uh, obviously I'm placing a lot of hope for our success in this uh, last remaining curse room that we're going to get before we head down to the womb down here. And I don't know if it's going to work out for us, but I think it reasonably could. We just need one guppy item and those are very, very commonly found in there. We're not going to go in until we have a reroll yet though, just in case there's another deal with the devil. We would like to... Um, ooh, Mom's Pearl is actually a great trinket. So, I, I know I've been distracted from my earlier train of thought that I was just talking about, but if we can now get Mom's Purse in the shop, that might be more effective than the map, because Mom's Pearl uh, gives us a substantially increased chance of getting Spirit Hearts, which is basically like picking up, uh, you know, a little bit like a trinket-based miter. Miter-based trinket, whatever. However you want to call it. Um, I'm not good with phases. That will um, probably fairly significantly improve my chances of success. Are we done with this room yet? Yeah, we are. Bloody Penny's obviously not good enough for my daughter. Uh, this is gonna be our path to the boss room, so unfortunately, the main piss off here is that it's gonna be a pain in the butt to walk all the way back here every time I wanna generate rerolls, but I guess we, we're not gonna go back in this direction until the boss is done anyway. And let's just stay away for a while. Because of my ability to use uh, technology like over rocks and stuff like that, uh, I, I have no reason to take damage on a room like this except for laziness. And laziness is a good reason to do a lot of things. A lot of people will be like, you know... And it, by the way, that felt so awkward coming out of my mouth. But a lot of people say like, um... You know, oh, why didn't you do something? Oh, I was lazy. Well, that's fucking stupid. Why don't you just be motivated to do things at all times for the rest of your life? Will this kill me? Because here's what I'm thinking is like... If I re-roll it and take nine lives or something, it'll kill me, but... Like, I can't pick it up. It'll kill me if I pick it up. But this won't, but I'll respawn with one health? Is that how this will work? If this ends the run, I'm so sorry, but I'm gonna explain my logic prior to this. We kill ourselves by picking up nine lives, we'll respawn... with... one health, but we'll be guppy and have the ability to fly and technology and all that cool stuff? We didn't even die, we just lost all of our spirit hearts and got one half red heart. So... Is this a good idea? That's certainly debatable, is a polite way to put it. Um, but, one thing's for sure, offensively, this is one of the best things we could hope for. Having the ability to generate flies, even though the flies don't do a whole heck of a lot of damage, relative to our, uh, relative to, um, our, the, the amount of health that I spent to do it, basically. Uh, but if, if I look at the conditions of this run, I actually still do feel like this was the right decision. Uh, I, I do. I, I would probably, if I had known the effects of it, I still would have done it. And, you know, having nine lives is actually in a, oh, I should go back, actually. Having nine lives is in a weird way kind of effective for us because there's a very realistic chance we could die, but if we don't die, we can get some HP upgrades and then start building a run and we're not gonna need so much, oh, we don't have any keys. We're not gonna need so much health to make this work because our damage is a lot better now. But. As of right now, if we get hit once, we lose a life, which is pretty not good, so we'll have to work on that. Uh, sure, you know what? X-ray goggles are actually a pretty good pickup for us. I'm sure we'll find a secret room, maybe even the second secret room, get an eternal heart, start building up a decent run here. Just walking up here to see if the second secret room is maybe in the vicinity. No, it appears not. Might as well get this. Uh, could be down further as well. We might have to carry it into the boss fight, though, because we don't have any spirit hearts anymore. Remember when we used to have, like, only spirit hearts? Those were the days. Now... Oh! Yeah, don't get hit by... Like, green bombs now, in particular, are something that I'm gonna be a little bit sore about. They're gonna cause some problems. Now, uh, golden chest we can't really do anything with anymore. There's our first secret room. It's nice to know that it exists. Sometimes it doesn't. And we can stand on the other side of the map. There's spirit hearts here, potentially, or a small rock, which would also be amazing. Any damage upgrades we get are substantially better now that our flies get the help too. That's useful. And you... You know what? I mean, I think that we need to reroll that. I took x-ray goggles already, so we don't have another thing that's really aching for a reroll right now. I think, at least. Uh, we might want to reroll the boss room item, but we don't know that we might not want to reroll the boss room item as well. So, we'll see. Let's see what we got in here first. I was really hoping that that would be an eternal heart. 
We'll check out our shop, uh, and we'll see if we want to reroll that instead of rerolling the one up, but I can imagine if I get raw liver right now, that would feel real good. But first, let's see. Key and mom's coin purse. I think mom's coin purse, well, we'll get the key, obviously, but I think mom's coin purse is a pretty good pickup here because of the potential for it to have HP upgrades. Now, it's got a lot of things in here. Bad gas is one. See you later. Could have used it more effectively. Balls of steel. I like it. Tears up. Even better. Telepills. Not really that effective. So what we are going to do is uh, head back into the secret room. And I'm going to walk to it, because otherwise we're going to take damage on the way out. If we just go by way of the, of the curse room, I think it would be a silly decision. And it might not be the best reroll, because 1-up's fine. But let's be honest, if we're going to die... Ten, if we're going to die nine times, we're going to die ten times, right? There's very few situations where a one-up will save you from uh, fin from dying. And I, I had a feeling that maybe something like that would happen. We'd get, like, a fetus in a jar. I've taken fetus in a jar fairly recently. I'm not going to take it here because I really like this kind of, like, laser fly generation combo we've got going on. And I think that's more interesting. I don't know if it's offensively better. It's probably, let's be honest, offensively better to take... Uh, to, to take Fetus in a Jar, or Epic Fetus. I think that was Fetus in a Jar, though, because it was in a jar. Uh, and I know I could play the Blood Bank once, but uh, let's just get up here and start doing some some damage to Mom and, and making our way here. We've, we've fabricated a very interesting run here. I'm excited about the, the possibilities that we have going on. And it uh, should be nice for us to, to make some progress here. Considering we have the Compass and uh, a lot of Spirit Hearts, I really hope that we actually manage to find a way to make this run work because uh, it's been a fun one. I would like to see it actually turn into a, a workable one as well. So just stay away from the walls, but also stay away from the middle. That doesn't leave me very much space. But we made it work! And we got Pageant Boy, which is really exciting because it's uh, probably the worst item we could possibly imagine right now. There we go. 77 cents. Don't spend it all in one place. You can't. You can't because they don't make places like that this late into the game. Alright, what do you got for me in here? Lots, got to fuck it. Uh, so that gave me invincibility. Did it take half the spirit heart? I can't remember. Whatever. More money. Fantastic, right? Um, we're gonna have to spend some time gambling here. Let's be honest. I want to, but I also have to. Star's card is, is what it is, which is basically worthless. Why are we gambling here? Because getting four or five spirit hearts from this fortune teller could make the difference between winning the run and losing the run. And I hate that about Isaac. I love Isaac as a game, but I really hate that... The variance of gambling can make so much difference. There you go. We tried. Um, I'm glad it exploded. If it's if it's gonna not give us very much, I'm I'm happy that it didn't give us much to start with. Now, um, judgment is pretty much exactly what we want right now. Another HP upgrade would be wonderful. Give me a deal with the devil and give me the chance to get like mom's knife or something. There's our HP upgrade. Judgment just has a tendency to do that. This is not the right way, much to my surprise. Now, we are on an XL floor, so disregard my deal with the devil talk earlier. Especially since I said, I really want to go to uh, keep this run the way it is, because it's interesting. I'm sure people were like, well, then don't pick up mom's knife, you asshole. And I, I would say to that, that that's inappropriate language, given um, what we were talking about. That That's just kind of like a really surprisingly strong and vulgar uh, response to, to that kind of behavior, but... You know, I guess you're entitled to do that if you want to be the world's biggest dingle dong. Now, we are doing great damage here. Really, really great damage. The thing is, can't afford to take very much great damage, or or bad damage for that matter. We will absolutely take Skeleton Key, and then we'll just teleport out because fuck everything. Stars took us to the secret room. I want, that's not permanent logic, right? Like, it doesn't normally do that. And why did I do this? Uh, we have Guppy's Tail. First off, it's just a good item. If you don't want me to pick up Skeleton Key, you've got something wrong with you, but, uh, yeah, it's just a good item. Skeleton Key is going to help us open up all the chests that we've got from Guppy's Tail, so happy to have it. That means more HP upgrades, that means more tiers upgrades in this case, and we're uh, building a really nice foundation to make a very good run here. Very good run. But I don't necessarily want to go to every room. Now that I have the Skeleton Key, maybe it's crossed my mind a little bit. We'll see. And... Uh, more red hearts are basically meaningless. Let's see if we can get some more golden chests, though. I can fly, so I should abuse that, I think, and maybe be a little bit more aggressive with going onto these spikes and killing the doppelganger at the same time we killed everybody else. I'm glad that we're not fighting uh, turrets anymore, because that was a really annoying period of my life. Let's kind of bum rush our way down here. Oh, yeah, that was really stupid of me. Uh, 
I, I kind of like got on the same level as Chubb so he could sh so he could attack me, but it was I did it so I could shoot him, but it ended up being a very silly decision because this is the fast version of Chubb that I can't really get around. Eternal Heart? Eh, Fortune Teller. Okay, so here we go again on our own, going down the only road I've ever known. Do I have some water? I do, so I'll you know be back in a second. Um, I, I really don't care about trinkets now. The only trinket I care about is the tick, and I just want it to not show up, ideally. And we'll play until we get down to 75 cents. That's that's as low as I'm willing to go. Unless it starts paying out with the Spirit Heart every single time. Okay, this is getting comical at this point, but yeah, I'll play until I get down to 75 cents. I don't want to spend the rest of my life here. This is going to make some people angry. I would rather lose, though, than spend an hour and a half playing this slot machine, or this fortune teller. Oh, Northern Line doesn't care about the integrity of the game. Man, I got groceries to buy and things to do in my life as well. And I think we can still have a reasonable chance to make it work. And when we get, to, maybe we'll get down to 70 cents. I don't know. It's only 12 more plays. Each one's only like four minutes, four seconds. Sorry. So that's like a little bit less than a minute. Uh, so we'll play 10 more times, or until we get down to 70 cents. But if it starts paying out with money, I'm out of here, man. Consistent money payouts are bullshit. These, honestly, like the spirit hearts that it pays out with, are are very useful. I just resent having to do it to have the best chance of success. So. Just keep it up here. So that's 75, so that went a little further. We're gonna go down to 30. Or sorry, 70. 70, not 30. And uh, if I went down to 30, I would uh, be here until I was 30. Which would take negative 39 years. And... Nothing at all. We'll blow it up. Maybe it'll have a, another hidden inside of it. Well, that's a bad gas pill, Jack. Uh, that's a little bit better than our existing pill. I didn't even notice that chest there. And, or a little bit better than our existing card, I should say. Uh, the tower has just as much chance to hurt me as it does to hurt the enemy, I would say. And another judgment, another HP upgrade here would be really, truly excellent. And we have one reroll available for our boss room item, potentially. There's our second HP upgrade on this floor. It's been a good floor. Daddy Long Legs. Uh, sorry, this is actually Triacnid. Not that it really matters. It's basically just a... Uh, Palette swap. I, I think I, it is literally a palette swap. I don't think they have other um, attacks. Maybe mistaken there, though. I've taken two hits on this fight, which is really just too, too many for what is, you know, theoretically a pretty easy fight. Reroll the eight ball, got an HP upgrade. So I feel better about the, the damage that I took now. Obviously, it's Mom's Heart next, and uh, it's a fight that should be pretty easy given the offensive potential that I have, but I already taken two damage. Hopefully, that doesn't continue. Let's drop a bomb down here and start working the uh, old Isaac magic. So, flies are going to be a big part of this. Spectral tears that are piercing going to be a big part of this. I guess I'll take this pill. It ended up being a luck upgrade. Um, it's kind of weird. I don't I don't really want to pick up that bad gas pill because it's just going to be problematic for me on that side of the map. There, Junior's going to die. Uh, zombies that fly, like, guided it. Uh, guided that bomb into the perfect position. And it's kind of working out that way over and over again here, thankfully. And let's make sure we're close enough for the flies to hit, but not so close that we could catch like a renegade bomb on the face without me noticing. And that'll be the end of this pretty subpar mom's hard boss fight, but we did it quickly, and um, it's not the only thing that matters, but it does help. Let's continue moving on here. We do have a library, but there's no way I'm going to explore the entire floor, so let's just, you know, get that image out of your head right away of me going to the library and farming the whole floor. That's a biz snap tactic. That's not for me. Plus, by the time we got there, half the floor would... We'd have to go through half the floor to get to it, is what I'm trying to say. So we would uh, already have missed a lot of potential. Now, there is a secret room here, and I like this a lot. Because the secret room has a much better pool of items for me, and it's right next to me, I think. So, really, a raw liver at this point would be incredible. An onk would be really nice, actually. I know I said, what's the point of having one extra life when you already have nine? But the onk's a little different, because you respawn as Blue Baby with, uh, you know, permanent Polaroid invincibility basically innately active by default, which is really useful. Now, uh, I, I much prefer Daddy Longlegs when he spawns spiders. I guess that's the difference between uh, Daddy Longlegs and Triacnid. Triacnid spawns the juicy spiders, Daddy Longlegs the appetizers. Appa spiders? And the boots with the fur? Anyway, you should be, like, dead a hundred times over here. There we go. You don't want to deal with your bullshit anymore? I think it should go without saying we're not picking up dad's key, right? Like, you don't need me to go in there and say, like, Hey, well, this is a bad item because blah, blah. I just don't like it. Why did I come to this room instead of bum-rushing the boss room? I do want to see if there's a chance for us to reroll that, uh... That wonderful secret room 
item room pedestal uh, again. It's not really an item room pedestal. I guess it's an item pedestal. I was trying to figure out the error in my own speech. It's basically, uh, basically the way my life goes. Say something and then spend 15 seconds being like, where did I go wrong? And oftentimes I'm just too lazy to do that, but that's not a bad reason, man. Laziness is value. We've never seen this. We've seen this pill. Disregard. Uh, bad gas is still probably better, in my opinion, than telepills at this point, which could cost us a chance to go to the chest and maybe get a, a nice win. So, we'll come back in this way. And Bob's Rod and Head is pretty bad, I would suggest. So, let's just throw that bad boy in over there. There's not a room up there. I was checking to see if maybe the second secret room was there, but I guess we would notice it. So I figured we'd play this once, uh, just to see if we get a half-heart interval, and then that gives us a little bit of extra invincibility. And we'll just go fight Isaac, and we'll see how this works. I'm absolutely planning on using, uh... Yeah, I'm ab absolutely planning on using, uh, bad gas here. We've gotta get close enough for the flies to hit him anyway, because they, they have a pretty bad, like, tracking range. And we're a little bit lucky that, you know, we are firing quickly with technology, but it's not super quickly. And we do have one orbital, but truth be told, this is probably more, uh, this is weaker than the average fight that I would like to have against Isaac. Or we are weaker than we would be on average, for my preference. But just be cool here. We're already through the first phase, we've only been hit once. There's been some close calls though, that could have easily been two or three times. And that might be enough to, uh, put me over the edge and get me killed on this fight. And again, once we die, we're just gonna keep dying forever. That's the curse of nine lives, it's usually the... One of the pieces of the puzzle to create Guppy, but it's also one of the pieces of the puzzle to create an incredible degree of frustration uh, when your first life doesn't go very well. Now, this is going really nicely, actually. Got through the second phase without getting hit at all. I started saying that a little bit prematurely, but we did make it. This is going to be a little harder now. But if I get the chance to take out some enemies well, whittling down Blue Baby's health, that's good, that was stupid, and we're not fighting Blue Baby either, that was that was stupid as well. Still gotta get the flies in there, oh, dodged right into that beam of light from heaven. Still afford to take a couple shots, a few shots I guess I should say, and we still have the uh, golden chests awaiting us in hell. This is uh, one of the few moments in this run where I really wish I'd taken Blue Candle. There are now f <laughs> like five angel fetuses. Which is just like, you know, my crowd control is not that good, despite having what effectively amounts to piercing shots. My crowd control is dog shit. I'm still getting uh, pooped on by these guys. Alright, well, we're gonna leave with a decent amount of health, though. There you go, you're dead. Oh! I got it! You heard it! <laughs> that was uh, bad dodging, but that's okay. Did I hit the space bar by accident? Why do I only... Oh no, I rerolled that secret room recently. So we're gonna take Stigmata for the extra damage and health. We're gonna pick up Monster Man well. Everything else, fuck it. Uh, and Monster Man, well, fuck it as well, but not, we're not gonna fuck it yet. So, I, again, I don't know if Stigma is one of those items that, I mean, I pick it up so rarely, I don't know if it's lying to me in its description, but extra damage, and what appears to be a faster rate of fire is, is cool by me, and definitely, you know, the proof is in the pudding on the screen when it comes to, uh, the HP upgrade, that extra HP may end up making the difference between life and death. Not too worried about the differences between Blue Baby and Isaac, because, the the flies that Blue Baby spawns, are, are meaningless in our fight because uh, the technology shots will almost certainly take them out before they can get to me and if they don't the flies around me will uh, so be smart here we are now one shotting the big spiders no we're not never mind disregard you're dead I took more damage than I would have liked to have taken there spiders are a little wily the invincibility a little bit more important than the raw health at this point so this is an important reroll polyphemus huge poison touch probably good enough and we're shooting so quickly with polyphemus now that that's nice but uh, it's gonna have to be one hell of a fight here look like this is I like this a whole lot uh, do we go down well, let's try down could still be the other way but the secret room should allow me to get to the exit pretty quickly look at how far this motherfucker can spit spiders it's just it's just silly give me a good tarot card man give me a good tarot card oh he gave me poison bombs which we're not gonna have much opportunity to reroll so I'll just take it um, and we'll do, this is our trip to the boss room, I guess, so could give us a tarot card here. I would like to get another reroll, but also there's a chance that this is the best kind of chance we're going to have at things, right? Even though I only have two and a half hearts, a good tarot card would go a long way right here. It's super sloth, my man. Oh, a double? Two of hearts? Oh, it was two of hearts. Okay. There's no way to double and get to a half heart because we, we don't have quarter hearts in the game. So I'm just going to go to full health. We'll lose permanent Polaroid invincibility, but... We have way more shots that we can take, so 
It's like something something Wayne Gretzky, something something Gnarls Barkley, I don't know. Anyway, so we got through the first phase, got hit once. Let's see if we can repeat that on the second phase. Oh, no, we got hit twice. This is scary now. This is all happening very quickly. Don't blow your first chance here. That's what I'm trying to get at. Because this is the, the most important of all of them. It's not like 8 Mile. You do not only get one chance, you do not miss a chance to blow. It's more like you get 100 chances, but your, your 99th through second chance are going to suck. So we won. Uh, that was really scary, but I'm glad I didn't compromise and take uh, Fetus in a Jar. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It's good to be back, baby. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future, and I will see you next time.